Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Tessie Juice Show. matches my outfit. Yeah. Mm. Hey, welcome to the show. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, I don't know if I've ever really talked about that. But, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that the Tessie Juice show is filmed in the Tessie kitchen. This is my cute little kitchenette. That's like one of my favorite parts of my house. Um, yeah, it's just a great space. It is a little warm right now because uh, I don't have air conditioning in my kitchen and it's super small and like my fridge is like a normal size fridge so the fridge like emits a lot of heat so uh, not a whole lot of circulation in this kitchen either. So in the summer the Tessie Juice Show is kind of like the Tessie Bikram Yoga Juice Show. It's, it gets hot in here. I don't even have a thermometer in here because I don't want to know what the temperature is. But I'm guessing it's probably at least 100 in here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, welcome to the show. Today we are making a fennel. Fennel is so cool looking. Fennel, oh, one sad little branch. Fennel, grapefruit, cucumber, ginger juice so it's um it's gonna be i like to keep it simple when i'm using fennel oh good morning mom yeah i like to keep it simple when i'm using fennel because i really like the taste of fennel it has a black licorice taste to it so it has like an anise flavor it's also called anise. It's like fennel anise. Um, so I don't like to have too much other like loud, loud tasting things um, with it. So we paired it with, or we, I paired it with cucumber and then a little tiny bit of ginger. If I use more ginger than this, then, then the ginger taste might overtake the rest of it. And grapefruit. So notice that I don't have a lime or lemon like I normally do. Um, I figured that the grapefruit would be in place of my other little tiny citrus because, uh, duh, it's citrus as well. So yeah, lots of, or not lots, but a few great ingredients today. Sometimes simple is better. Um, first off, I'll talk about my outfit. My outfit is just this little jumper one piece thing that I've had for a long time, but I was like, you know what? I don't think I've ever wore that on the show. So that's why I chose this outfit today. It's um, not vintage or anything. It's just a, an oldie, but a goodie. It's so comfortable and it looks, you can dress it up and you can also make it look casual too. So I love this outfit. I think it was like 20 bucks at some teeny bopper store, but, um, love it and then this necklace was given to me a long time ago by a friend a yoga teacher friend of mine named Amy and um, some matching earrings well they're not quite matching but they're very similar so yay okay let's talk about grapefruit juice grapefruits are really wonderful and I just started peeling and eating them like maybe a few years ago like that was never a thing that I did I, I peeled oranges and ate those but grapefruits were always too intense for me I never really liked them um, we didn't really have them as a kid mom I mean I, 
I know we talked about them a little bit, like with my grandma McNabb used to eat them, my dad's mom, and she would put sugar, she would cut them down the middle and put sugar on top. We would eat those every once in a while, but hardly, I don't hardly remember grapefruits being in my life until I was an adult. Um, grapefruits have a very high concentration of vitamin C. Um, vitamin C has anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, it also helps support your immune system and wound healing. Grapefruits are also a good source of vitamin A, which helps you maintain vision. Um, and also grapefruits are a really great source of potassium. People usually get their potassium from bananas, which still a great source, but uh, grapefruits are like second place to bananas when it comes to potassium. And potassium, what does potassium do? It, it uh, ensures proper kidney and heart function, very important uh, organs for your body, um, muscle contraction, and nerve transmis transmission. Potassium is an important part of the functioning of your body. So make sure you get your potassium, grapefruits or bananas. We're also going to use a cucumber today. I wanted to keep it something um, simple, something with a, like a simple taste to it. So cucumbers are always fit the bill for that because they're very hydrating, they're alkalizing, and they also contain lots of vitamins. Vitamin A, C, K, magnesium, silicon, potassium. They cleanse, detox, and alleviate digestive problems. So um, I don't really like to use the word toxins. A lot of people talk about like using juice as a detox. Um, I don't really look at juice that way. I don't really think that you have like toxins in your body, which you might, you know, like if you smoke or if you're like um, exposed to lots of environmental pollution. But I feel like there are different ways to get rid of toxins in your body than juice. I like to juice because of what it adds to my body. It adds back minerals and vitamins that I sweat out um, with my daily life, but also with uh, Bikram yoga and being a, a very active person. So I like juicing because of what it brings to my life versus what it eliminates from my life. So um, sometimes it just takes a different um, mindset to get something into your, into, into your routine. So that's probably why I've been able to keep juicing for like 10 years now. And everyone's like, it just takes so much time. Yes, but it also adds so much to your life too. So the time is worth it for me. Ginger, we talk about a lot. We talk, I, I put ginger in almost every juice. Ginger is uh, very anti-inflammatory. It lowers your blood pressure and cholesterol, but it also is good for digestion too. Um, I think juice is a really good way to start your digestive process off on the right foot. Um, that's why I always juice first thing in the morning. It's um, easier for the nutrients to get into your bloodstream. And it's just a great way to start your morning. You start your morning off with a really healthy um, choice for yourself and then it helped, it sets you up for success for better choices throughout the day too. So juicing is, is great. Also, last thing is fennel. Crazy looking vegetable. Fennel is kind of expensive. So like one of these is four bucks. Um, so I was thinking about this this morning, I'm like, man, if I was rich, I would have fennel in my house all the time. Most people are like, man, if I was rich, I would like buy a Porsche, Porsche, whatever, or, you know, I buy a cop, like mansions. I'm like, I have fennel, unlimited fennel <laughs> in my life. Priorities, you know, I'd have fennel and I'd have air conditioning in my kitchen. <laughs> Anyway, fennel is good for digestion, and it's also good for people with anemia. Um, it's soothing on the stomach. It encourages more digestive juices in your stomach. 
so that's kind of cool. Um, it has phytochemicals that help maintain joint health, that also prevent rheumatoid arthritis, and helps speed up the healing of damaged mus muscles and tissues. And also, it's antibacterial and antifungal. Cool. Uh, it's also high in vitamin C and helps promote healthy eyes. So kind of similar benefits as grapefruit because it helps with your um, healing of your muscles, but then it also helps your vision, uh, like vitamin A that cucumber contains. So um, fennel is kind of like a combination of, of both of these ingredients. So a good reiteration of, of everything today. Okay, we're gonna do the grapefruit on this little handheld juicer. Glass on the bottom. Good morning. Glass on the bottom. It's important to, you know, try to have as many um, surfaces that you like eat off of, drink off of being glass. And um, that's a whole nother like wormhole, but we're not going to go down that today. But uh, uh, yeah, I like to keep things like glass in my life. I try to keep the, the plastic to a minimum. Okay, we just cut it down the middle. This one's gonna be very pulp. Oh no! Whoops! Draw. <laughs> Interesting. Somehow my tripod just slipped off the edge of the counter. Woo! Maybe that was like some spirit from another realm talking to me. Good morning. Maybe it just maybe it was just me being clumsy. Okay, anyway, back to making grapefruit juice. <laughs> it all is also just like really humid in my kitchen, so I don't know why that would make my phone fall. <laughs> maybe it's, maybe it's because it made me clumsy, and I didn't notice that I set my phone that close to the edge. Either way, phone's fine. Nothing, nothing got wrecked. Okay, this grapefruit, yes, just as I thought, was super pulpy. But I like pulp in my grapefruit juice. I like pulp in my orange juice too. I remember when I was little, I used to think that that was like the grossest thing ever. I don't know why. Like why? Why are kids so picky? I guess maybe you just don't understand like what what it was. I thought it was just like chunks, which essentially it is, but I'm going to try real quick and see if there's any more juice. And uh, not a whole lot. Sometimes I'll have to like run through it with my hands to get the juice that the like little thing couldn't pick up. But it looks like it got most of it today. Cool. That goes into compost. Now we do the other half. A lot of pulp, but not a whole lot of juice. So, thank you, thank you. Yeah, phone mishap, I don't know. <laughs> wow. This thing is just pulp city. So what we're gonna do, because I like pulp, is we're gonna empty some of the pulp from the top into my cup. Chunky. <laughs> so that it gets out of the way of the filter. And then I'll throw some more of that in the compost. As you can see, it's like real chunky in there. Now we can juice the rest of this. Because there was so much pulp in there that it was like blocking the, the new juice from getting through. Okay. Hmm. 
and it just smells so good. And sometimes when you smell something really good, it just like puts you in a good mood. So juicing just has so many like benefits that you just might not think of at first. Yeah, see, there's a lot of juice left over in this one. So we're just going to squeeze it a couple times. Fresh grapefruit juice, when you squeeze it like this, or in this little thing, is so good. So, so good. And it's so crazy how like your taste buds change and stuff because I remember when I was little, like I was talking about before, like grapefruit and grapefruit juice was just way too tart for me. Good morning. To even like, like at all. And now it just doesn't, I mean it tastes tart still, but like it just tastes so delicious. How did so much change? It's not like the grapefruits changed, but like it was me. It was me that changed. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more of this pulp because I don't want it all to go to waste. Some of it's like the little skin. So I take, I put that in the compost. But if it's just like the chunky stuff from the inside, I'll put it in my cup. Okay, now we pour the grapefruit juice into there. Wonderful, set that aside. So here we are, we've got some chunky grapefruit juice. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna cut up the uh, fennel. So you just, we're just gonna juice the bulb um, of the fennel. Good morning. We're not gonna juice the stalks. The stalks I'm gonna use um, on another thing. The little like wispy stuff, you can put that in a salad. It has like a fennel taste to it, but um, or you can just throw it in your compost. But we're gonna cut the branches off. I need to dry the, knife, the handle of my knife. It has like grapefruit juice on it and it's kind of slippery. Not good when your knife feels slippery in your hands. <laughs> okay, back to it. Much better. Okay. Now I'm just going to go, I'm just going to put these in the fridge because I'm going to handle these later. <laughs> now we're going to cut this little, the end off. Basically I'll just cut like a little diagonal in there. Gosh, why is everything so wet today? I'm gonna use the dish towel just to be safe. Okay. So there, <clears throat> I just cut a little like divot in there and you just take the bottom bottom off. And then the rest, we're going to juice. We need a drink of water. Don't forget to drink your water today. <laughs> to cut it, it's pretty easy. Just cut it down the middle and you're going to cut it in just a size that can fit through the, the juicer. Kelly, hello. Okay. I might have to cut those a little bit smaller in a second. We'll see how they do through the juicer. Now we're just cutting up the, hello, we're just cutting up the cucumber. 
into little strips. Okay, now everything's cut up, we're just going to run the fennel, cucumber, and ginger through the juicer. And then we'll add it to our grapefruit juice that we already squeezed by hand. And then we'll drink. Mm. You know what's crazy is that I haven't even juiced these things yet, but I've cut them all up and the scent of all of them mixing together right now smells so good. Woohoo. Good morning. Okay, here we go. So we're just alternating a piece of fennel and then a piece of cucumber. A piece of fennel, then cucumber. Drinking my black tea. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so this is all of the first round juice. Good morning. And we're going to empty that into our cup and then we're going to juice the pulp. Just want to run the pulp through until it feels dry. If, it, if it's kind of like damp still, like almost like an applesauce texture, that means you still have, it still has juice in it. So you need to run it through. Okay, in our cup is the grapefruit juice that we made with our little handheld juicer. Whoa, what a color change. I think this one's going to be really good. I love all of the ingredients that are in it. That is in it. Nice. Okay, let's run, uh, let's juice the pulp, and we'll try again. a second to catch up. You don't want to overload it. enough of that. A little bit more. We got about like five ounces more just from juicing the pulp. One, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Okie dokie. It's looking pretty beautiful. It's like a great color. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I'm chewing the pulp, the grapefruit pulp. Wow, that is 
very unique. Hold on, let me try it again. Whoa. That is the most um, anise-flavored um, fennel I've had in a long time. Usually the fennel, anise, usually the anise taste, like the black licorice taste of the fennel is not that prominent. It's very like um, like a background subtlety. But today, I totally taste, that's like the main thing I taste is the black licorice taste. Um, they're making them stronger these days, I guess, or something, I don't know. Uh, I really like it. it, it's very unique. If you don't like the taste of black licorice, you won't like this juice because somehow the grapefruit taste, like the grapefruit and the ginger, like amplify the taste of the black licorice. I don't know how that's possible. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense in my brain. You know, like the grapefruit's kind of like, like a highlighter almost. Like, here we are, this is what we're tasting. And here's here's a little bit of the, uh, the highlighter taste. Here's a little bit of the grapefruit taste too. Um, I really like it. It's, it's, I, the way it tastes though, I know that not a lot of people would like love it. You know, you'd have to be like somebody who likes tart black licorice taste. <laughs> and I do, I like, I like tart juice and I like black licorice. So I think this one's really good. It might not be for everybody though. Um, the cucumber, I can taste quite a bit too. I don't know what's going on, like why this is, this is just hidden. This one is just interesting. Um, very unique. It's not very sweet, which is awesome. Sometimes, for the most, most of the time, juice can be too sweet for my liking. Especially if it's just like uh, apple juice or just apple orange or something like that. But this one is, this one's cool. I'm, I'm proud of this one. This is a very like layered, subtle, subtle but not subtle. Like there's lots of, the more you like taste it, there's like more stuff that you discover in what, and in what's in it. So um, really unique. Um, yeah, thank you for watching the show. That's the show for today. And good morning. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Yoga East Austin. I post all the Tessie Juice shows on our um, YouTube channel, and there's a link in my bio. And yeah, uh, if you want to, if you're watching on YouTube, you can watch the live show on Instagram, and that's Wednesday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Time. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and um, do something good for yourself today. See you soon. Thank you for watching.